So if you want to see Mooresville, we all have this we all have this idea of NASCAR being in these real small towns with barns and everything. And the funny thing is, Mooresville, where a lot of the shops are, Earnhardt, uh, Bush, uh, Roush, this is their town right here. This is the town. And it is a small town. It is a really nice town. But it is small. And there is a lot of barns and there are a lot of um, hills. But this is the town. This is Mooresville right here. Of course, the buildings themselves are modern for these racing teams and the buildings themselves are large and they're in an industrial park nearby. But the reality is this is what this whole town looks like. This is where they live. It's a small town. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. All right, guys, where am I? So I am in North Carolina, and I'm at a place called River Ridge Farms. So what is River Ridge Farms? Well, if you take a look behind me, you may remember this barn. This barn right here was in a pretty famous movie and if you're watching my channel you kind of know which one it is days of thunder so this is the barn where robert duval was building race cars this was his shop in that movie and back when this movie was made this farm sat all well, around was surrounded by fields and it pretty much was in the middle of nowhere uh except that was what 30 years ago and so now this is right across from the costco zach's bees chicken hold strip mall here auto parts store all kinds of stuff and all the fields that used to be here are all developed in the strip malls and everything else but the barn is still here and uh it's just a fun little thing that's left over from the movies and back then a lot of these guys like richard childress racing and all a lot of them had probably gotten their starts in small barns or in car dealerships. But now we're going to go and take a look at a couple shops and compare the two to what started in barns building race cars even in the 1980s. There was no big shops. Wood Brothers had the same garage that they always had. Uh, at the time, Dale Earnhardt, I believe, was still working out of his shop uh, over near Lake where they used to live. And um, so I just wanted to kind of show you, it's cool that this thing is still here, but if you look around now, by looking around, you can just tell, you know, progress, is it progress? I guess it is, if you own one of these stores, if you bought a house down here it's probably progress but it would be nice to have life sometimes back the way it was but i hope that the guy that owned the barn and owned this farm profited from uh the movie that would be good anyway 
so that's where I want to go here. Now we're going to go and see. Um, let's go to Kyle Bush's and see where Kyle Bush's race shop is now. Let's see the difference. All right, if you like this kind of thing, please remember to subscribe, hit the button, tell your friends, share, like, make a comment, all that stuff. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Kyle Bush's place because he likes to go by the nickname Rowdy from the movie. So we're gonna see uh, the difference between the movie from I think it was 1996 to what a race shop looks like today. And we'll use Kyle Bush's race shop since uh, he likes to use the name Rowdy from the movie where Rowdy Burns was the black hat guy the bad guy. So that's where we're going to head now. So this is Kyle Bush's place. This is uh, Kyle Bush Motorsports. And it's about five minutes away from Dale Jr.'s place. So we came over here. Again, these guys are all over at Nashville today racing in Nashville and also getting ready for Pocono this weekend so that's where everybody is but we're gonna go in and check it out and uh, come on in take these cars out so we're in Kyle Busch racing in his world headquarters here. And he's got all his cars out front. His trophies. You can see all the Toyotas out there, the whole shop. They're all, look at all that stuff. This is the 2015 car right here. It's Champions Series. All his trophies. And then you have all his these cars here, so you have all different cars that he has, and his truck. This was his chassis from here here's the interstate car right here the Dollar General truck right here that's His first late model car. So this is some of his early racing stuff here. Trophy case. From 2010, 2009, 2008, 2006 all the way up to present day. Like him or dislike him, I can tell you this much, the man wins a lot of trophies. The man wins a lot of trophies. He's got his racing suits up top. So. Yeah, I mean, he does win 
a lot. So if, he's actually got a nice little museum. You can see the shop out there. You see his cars here. So um, yeah, if you get up here, it's only about five minutes from Dale Earnhardt's place. So you can see both of them at the same time and actually a lot of them are all around here at the same time. So if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit the little bell, um, like me, share, brush your teeth, all the normal stuff. Thanks. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.